The low down on cash down payments and reasonable monthly car payment plans. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Homework Guy channel, your go-to source for smart money moves when it comes to purchasing a new or used car. Today we're diving into the driver's seat to talk about two very important considerations of one of the biggest financial decisions you'll ever make, buying a car. You might be revving up to drive off the lot in your dream ride, but before you do, let's put the brakes on and talk about cash down payments and monthly payments. How much do you really need for cash down and what kind of financial speed bumps can it help you avoid? Also, what percentage of income should you be limiting your monthly payment to if you're financing? And if you think a flashy sports car or any kind of vehicle with no down payment is the fast track to total coolness, think again. It's not. We're here to shift your perspective back into the reality of financial responsibility and show you how the right down payment can turbocharge your financial health. We'll also gear up with expert advice on how to steer your monthly payments into the financial safety zone, keeping your finances running smoothly without unexpected detours. So buckle up, hit that like button, and subscribe for more financial wisdom if you haven't already done that. And let's roll out the roadmap for a savvy car purchase. Today, it's all about the lowdown on cash down payments and monthly car payment plans. Stay tuned because you're going to get the insider scoop on cruising past common financial car buying mistakes, and it's going to be a ride to remember. First, let's talk about the importance of cash down on a car purchase. Making a cash down payment on a car purchase is quite important for several reasons and helps you avoid many different headaches and various expenses. Number one, less interest. A down payment reduces the amount you need to borrow and in turn lowers the interest you'll pay over the life of the loan. For example, a larger down payment on a $30,000 car loan with a 4.5% interest rate would significantly decrease the total interest cost you pay over the life of the loan. Number two, lower monthly payments. A larger down payment means you'll have a smaller loan balance, which typically results in lower monthly payments. This can make the ongoing cost of owning the car more manageable within your budget. Number three, avoid negative equity, that evil little devil that it is. If you make a down payment that's less than 20% of the car's value, you risk becoming financially upside down on your loan. This means you owe more than the car is worth, which can be a significant issue if you decide to sell the car before the loan is paid off, as you would have to pay the difference between the sale price and the remaining loan balance. Aww. Number four, reduce depreciation impact. Cars depreciate rapidly, friends, often losing 20% of their value in the first year. A reasonable down payment can minimize the financial impact of this depreciation, ensuring that you're not paying a loan balance that's significantly higher than the value of the car. Number five, expert recommendations. Experts often recommend a down payment of at least 20% on the cost of the vehicle to reap these benefits and maintain a healthy financial situation regarding your car purchase. And that advice is consistent with everything we believe here at the Homer Guy channel. In conclusion, besides putting 20% cash down, we always recommend that you pay the sales tax out of pocket, including the state fees for licensing and registration. Always do that. Paying these costs out of your own pocket and putting a proper cash down payment helps you avoid higher interest costs, reduces your monthly payments, protects you against negative equity, and mitigates the effects of depreciation on your investment. Not to mention that the right amount of cash down also makes it completely unnecessary to buy that overpriced dealer gap policy. $1,000 saved right there. Cha ching <laughs> Next, let's tackle the issue of financing. And if you are planning on getting a car loan, how much of your income you should allocate to your upcoming car payments. Before we dive into this discussion on car payments, I want to reinforce our past advice that you should not go into a dealership with a payment goal in mind. Definitely not a goal that you share with your salesman. If you do that, your entire negotiation conversation will be all about payments and you'll get burned. Using an online car payment calculator from home, to determine how much car you can buy based on total cost to accomplish the payment goal you're after and have that out the door number in your head, not a monthly payment. It's the total price that you should be concerned with. The general recommendation on monthly car payments from financial experts varies. Here's some advice based on multiple sources that we use. Number one, the typical range suggested is between 10 and 15% of your monthly income. This should cover the principal interest and insurance payments for your car. Number two, some experts suggest keeping the car payment below 15% of your monthly income to maintain a healthy financial balance. Number three, a more conservative recommendation is to spend no more than 10% of your monthly take-home pay on your car payment, 
because the payment is only a portion of the actual cost. The car costs include gas, insurance, and maintenance, and that should not exceed 15-20% to 20% of your monthly income in total. Recently, we shared a lot of considerations that go into car ownership costs with this video, 13 Hidden Costs of Car Ownership. Check it out if you need more information or you missed it. Number five, Edmunds.com states that up to 20% of your take-home pay is acceptable, but again, a more conservative approach would limit it to 10% of your gross income. When it comes to car payments at the homework guy, we lean towards playing it conservative. Our advice is that to shoot for payments that are no more than 10% of gross income, so other costs of ownership we've talked about are accounted for, even if you fail to do the math right. It's important to note that these are general guidelines and your individual circumstances can vary, so it might be necessary for you to adjust these percentages based on your own personal financial situation, your other debts, and your actual living expense. Friends, if you feel you lack the skill to get this right and you need help finding and purchasing a vehicle that's right for you, just join our channel as a member today and get direct help from me or Elizabeth. We don't want you to get burned. It's extremely easy to join. Just hit the join button right below the video and select the package that's right for you. If you have trouble finding how to join, just send Liz a text at 701-441-3399 and she will text you back a join link. For the direct help that you need, get the Homework Guy Help Package for $24.99, which offers direct email contact with us. You can ask us unlimited questions via email, which is a special email dedicated to members. The next option is the Homework Guy Consults Package at $49.99. This package gives regular text contact with both Liz and myself, and you'll get direct contact with my personal cell phone. This is in addition to the email contact in the previous package. Also, any membership level can be canceled at any time, so there's limited expense. By the way, I have already posted my personal cell number in the members only section of our community page. Although it's not listed as a benefit for any of the packages, I have personally called several members already. As most members have said, the value of the membership was well worth it with just one phone call. That's the kind of value I like to deliver. Also, as an extra incentive of the first 50 members to sign up, and this is true for any membership level, you will get a free copy of our Car Buyer's Manual when it comes out. Now, if you're wondering if you're in the top 50, if we're still saying this, you're in the top 50. That's <laughs> likely to be around Christmas when that book comes out, and we are making serious headway on it. Today's show, by the way, was an example of just one of the many high-quality chapters you'll find in this Car Buyer's Handbook. Be aware that becoming a member is simple. Yes! Again, just hit that Join button down below the video to sign up. And as Liz has said earlier, you can text her to get a link to join. Again, her contact number is 701-441-3399. I also want to remind our regular viewers about the free content we have on our website, thehomeworkguy.com. So make sure you take time to give us a visit. We improve on our website regularly. Besides the website, you can also connect with us on other social media sites like Facebook, so go like our page if you haven't already done that. If you've just recently joined the Homework Guy channel as a subscriber, we thank you, appreciate you, and welcome you aboard. And if you just became a new member on the channel, we've enjoyed working with you. Thank you for putting your trust in us. Also, thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back. And to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth, justice, and transparency in the car business and always will. We've, We've got to go. go.